Good morning, everyone. I bring greetings from the Institute for Sustainable Communities. It's my pleasure to welcome you to the Partnership for Resilient Communities convening, rising in the face of adversity. I'm glad to be with all of our PRC partners for the very first time today. I hope to be in person with you sometime soon. Let us first acknowledge the indigenous peoples of all the lands that we are on today in the places where each of us is. While we meet today on a virtual platform, I'd like us to take a moment to acknowledge the importance of all the lands which we each call home. I'm in Washington, D.C., home of the Nakuchtank and Anacostian tribes. We celebrate indigenous people and reaffirm our commitment and responsibility in improving relationships between nations and improving our collaboration with indigenous peoples who stewarded the land before us and continue to steward it in this time. I'm delighted to be with you today to say hello. The Institute for Sustainable Communities is celebrating its 30th year anniversary this year. We have a storied history. Our work spans more than 30 countries and 130 transformative community and locally driven sustainability projects. As our partners, you know that we focus our expertise in communities, countries, cities, and regions with the largest share of greenhouse gas emissions and pollution emissions. And we bring into that loop key stakeholders and decision makers like local and regional government, corporate brands, manufacturers, and other big pollution sources. I've been on board as president at the Institute for 10 months now. I'm thrilled to be the first African-American woman to lead a US-based international climate change organization. Since coming on board, taking over the helm, after 30 years of George Hamilton's able leadership as the president of the organization, I'm doubling down on ISC's commitment to racial equity and keeping equity in the forefront of climate resilience and green economy solutions. Now, we're digging deeper into our own equity and inclusion journey, internally, organizationally, and digging deeper into our efforts to advance equity thought leadership in the climate change and sustainability space. We're redoubling our focus on implementing place-based changes changing public policies and decision-making structures, shaping and driving investments that embed equity by tackling the intersecting racial, economic, and social root causes that underpin health and the disproportionate impacts of environmental degradation and climate change in communities of color and other challenged neighborhoods. This year, we witnessed worldwide protests and global challenges to the status quo, lifting equity loud and clear. The protests called out racism and racial and economic and social inequalities. People around the world are demanding change. This has brought the attention of government at all levels and corporations and industry. I hope you sense with me in these times a new momentum for change. Somehow it feels different this time, the shining of the light. We have a renewed momentum for change. We're still going to have to work hard to get ourselves to the goals, but we're a force pushing equity as the critical platform for systems change and inclusion. Together with all of you, the Institute for Sustainable Communities is building the bridge between the technocracy of climate change and sustainability and the science, data, and the racial and cultural inclusion of equity. In our Partnership for Resilient Communities project, in collaboration with the JPB Foundation and with you, ISC puts people, people of color and our places at the forefront. We're committed to lifting up your voices, your lived experiences, your community assets, and understanding your community's needs, helping to develop and shape equitable climate change and green economic solutions. 
we're fully focused on ensuring that equity and justice are embedded in the trillions of dollars in investments that will result from the world's transition to the clean energy economy. I want to thank the JPB Foundation and Jen Patrick for being an invaluable support and partner in our work together. And I want to thank every one of you for your knowledge, your innovations, your energy, and for being indispensable to our mutual success. Kudos to ISC's US Program Director, Jamie Love, and our Associate Directors, Sonia Joshi and Russell Paez for their leadership, and kudos to the US team. We're walking hand in hand, moving the vision and direction of the US program. I know that you plan to accomplish a lot during the next two days, so I'll let you get to it. I'm glad I've had the opportunity to connect with all of you today. Enjoy the convening. Good morning, everyone. We're so excited to have you here today. For those who don't know me, I'm Jamie Love. I'm the director of US programs with ISC. I'm based in Cincinnati, Ohio, and I'm super excited um, to have all of you joining our PRC convening today. And I am also very excited to welcome Jen Patrick from the JPB Foundation. Jen is our program officer and has worked with us hand in hand um, in launching and building the PRC over the last several years. And we're really excited um, to be working with them. And I'll let Jen um, give a few words of welcome. Thank you, Jen. Great. Thank you, Jamie. Can you see me okay? You guys are testing my technology, uh, technological yeah. skills, but um, you know, I am I am just so thrilled to be here, and I come to this gathering with only positive energy. Um, I look forward to the gathering every year, um, and I'm thrilled to be here again, even though it's not in person. Um, but it is definitely in spirit, and I, I wish I could you know, we all could see each other and be with each other um, in person, but we'll have to wait till next year. Um, I'm just going to say a few words about um, why uh, the JPB Foundation supports the, uh, the PRC and all of your work. Um, and obviously we can, you know, dig into to more details as the two days goes on. Um, but I do want to say that um, personally, I have just only respect for the inspiring leadership in this room um, and just excitement at the prospect of growth in the work that you all are doing and joy. I have real joy that this community exists. And I'm just um, so looking forward to, the, to our dialogue and, and learning from each other. Um, for those of you who don't know JPB, we're a very large national foundation focused on three primary areas, empowering those living in poverty, enriching and sustaining the environment, and enabling pioneering medical research. And um, the, the environment program is, is obviously where this work fit, fits in. And I work with a really um, great team of strong women focused on enabling resilient communities. That is the overarching goal of the JPB uh, environment program. And really at, at the heart of our program is working to um, level the playing field and uh, deal with the, the inequities and structural uh, racism that's been with us for so, so long. Um, and really just support efforts that help people to breathe cleaner air or uh, create more open and green uh, spaces to, to enjoy life in, um, creating more access to affordable, efficient, and clean energy, and really supporting efforts that strengthen the field of environmental justice. Um, and so all of your work really fits into, into um, that Th those goals. Um, and, and we know that creating resilient communities is not easy. Um, it, it requires new partnerships and structures and resources and ways of thinking, um, ways of working, ways of loving in this world. Um, and really, it requires all of us to work together um, in, in truly charting a, a, a sustainable path um, in this in this crazy world we live in. And so I'm just, again, thrilled to be here. Um, can't wait to uh, hear more about 
all of the activity going on. Um, and I will turn it back to Jamie. Thank you, Jen. We appreciate um, our work in partnership with JPB so much. And um, are so happy you were able to join us for the convening.